Section 2.3.2, Supreme Court, Political Tendencies. Hello, I'm Dr. Adam McKee, and today we're exploring an important aspect of the Supreme Court from my book, Criminal Justice, An Overview of the System. We're going to discuss how the personal political beliefs of Supreme Court justices influence their decisions and the overall direction of the court. Let's dive in. The Supreme Court justices are tasked with interpreting the law, but this task is influenced by their personal political beliefs. Despite good intentions, these beliefs impact their perception of what is just and unjust. Typically, the political leanings of justices are divided into two categories, liberal and conservative. Liberal decisions tend to favor criminal defendants, those who claim discrimination, and those who claim violations of civil rights. Conservative decisions, on the other hand, tend to favor law enforcement, prosecutors, and other government entities. As of March 2023, the Supreme Court of the United States is composed of nine justices, with more appointed by Republican presidents than by Democratic presidents. Currently, Chief Justice John Roberts and Justices Clarence Thomas, Samuel Alito, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett tend to vote in a conservative manner. In contrast, Justices Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, and the recently appointed Katanji Brown Jackson tend to vote more liberally. It is worth noting that not all liberal justices are equally liberal, and not all conservative justices are equally conservative. Justice Stephen Breyer, who retired recently, was known for being more centrist. Justices Thomas and Alito are known for their more conservative positions. Moreover, individual justices' voting behavior can vary from case to case, making predicting the outcome of a Supreme Court decision often challenging. For example, Chief Justice Roberts has occasionally voted with the liberal justices in key cases, reflecting his concern for maintaining the court's institutional integrity and public perception. Similarly, Justice Kavanaugh has shown that he can be a swing vote in certain situations, demonstrating that the ideological lines are not always rigid. The court's decisions can also be influenced by factors such as legal precedent, the specific issue at stake, and the broader political and social context. For instance, in cases involving civil rights or criminal justice reform, the justices might consider the societal implications of their decisions. This broader context can lead to unexpected alliances and outcomes in court rulings. Nonetheless, the current makeup of the court suggests that the justices are likely to be divided along ideological lines in many cases, with Chief Justice Roberts and Justice Kavanaugh being seen as potential swing votes on certain issues. This division reflects the broader political polarization in the country and highlights the importance of the Supreme Court in shaping national policy. Understanding the political tendencies of the Supreme Court is crucial because it helps us anticipate how the court might rule on significant issues. It also underscores the importance of judicial appointments and the long-term impact they can have on the direction of the court and the interpretation of the law. So, why is this topic so important? Recognizing the political influences on Supreme Court justices helps us understand the complexities of judicial decision-making and the balance between law and politics. It also emphasizes the importance of a fair and impartial judiciary in maintaining public trust in the legal system. In summary, the political beliefs of Supreme Court justices play a significant role in their interpretation of the law and their decisions. While these beliefs can influence their rulings, other factors like legal precedent, specific case issues, and broader societal context also play crucial roles. Understanding these influences helps us better appreciate the workings of the Supreme Court and its impact on our lives. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, leave them in the comments below. See you next time.